It's a long road to Torrey Pines for this year's U.S. Open, but over at the NMSU golf course today, golfers from around the area were giving it their best shot for a chance at qualifying for one of the sport's prestigious tournaments. ABC 7's Nate Ryan picks up the story. Like 54 other golfers, Javier Quevedo came to the New Mexico State Golf Course Tuesday with a dream. Well, making it to the U.S. Open, you know, yeah. Especially at Torrey Pines. After his top three finish in the U.S. Open local qualifier, Javier's dream, believe it or not, is still alive. The road to Torrey Pines, site of this year's major tournament, starts at these local and sectional qualifiers. Now it is a long shot as just only two golfers, Ken Venturi in 1964, Orville Moody in 1969, have ever won the U.S. Open after qualifying through the sectional round. But don't tell that to the field here in Las Cruces today. All they need is a sliver of hope to play down the fairway. From club regulars to local college players, everyone starts with the same chance at a major. I think that's what's great about like the, the U.S. Open. I mean, anybody can sign up and, and try to play their way into it. UTEP golfer Greg Yellen also moving on to the sectional round with a top three finish, but the road continues. Just to, you know, have the chance to, to try to get through sectionals and, and play in the U.S. Open and, you know, play against the best players in the world. It, one of the nicest courses at Torrey Pines. That'd be that'd be amazing. Sectionals are divided into 11 sites, and scores from all sites are grouped into one field. But finish with a top 10 score there, and you might find yourself at the U.S. Open. It would mean a lot, you know, to know that I can still compete with the young guys now. And to think it all could have started at the local course. Nate Ryan, ABC 7.